Hey, good morning, folks. Well, we finally got a week of uh, no rain, which has been highly unusual in the last two months. We got a, uh, we just coming off a norther, and it was, it was a bear. It was a big one. Uh, the last two nights, it's been uh, 35 degrees, which is very unusual for South Texas in November. We usually don't see anything like that till uh, late December, January, February. But anyway, as, uh, as it happens a lot, right after a northern, you get high pressure settles in, uh, light winds, bluebird skies, and that's exactly what we had uh, yesterday. Uh, I started out throwing a waker, and it didn't take me just a little while to figure out <clears throat> once I turned on the uh, depth finder to check the water temperature. Uh, in two nights, the water temperature went from the 70s to the 50s. And uh, I had a couple of fish roll at the waker and did catch one uh, when I first got there. But uh, it was they, it was real half-hearted. Uh, they weren't wanting to they weren't wanting to eat it. And after drifting along for a little ways, I started seeing some nice trout in the sand. And I knew that 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 waker had come over them, and they hadn't they hadn't reacted to it. So I switched over to the uh, to the down south supermodel on a eighth ounce Strike King jig head, twenty pound fluorocarbon leader, and. Uh, I started dropping this in that sand and bouncing it off the bottom and uh, they started chewing on it big time. Uh, there was a few redfish around but redfish just they don't do well in high pressure. <clears throat> uh, trout aren't nearly as affected by it for some reason some I don't know something about their physical makeup but uh, they were they were on the sand and what we were doing, we were throwing this, we were throwing it up on the grass and dragging it over and as soon as it got to the edge of the sand I would let it fall into the, into the sand pockets. Uh, you don't want to throw it straight into the sand because especially on a day like this where you got very little wind and it's really calm. Uh, if there's one laying in there and you drop it right on top of his head, you'll spook him out. So uh, the best best way I found is to throw it past the hole, left or right of it, whatever, up into the grass, and then just whip it back till you get to the sand and let it let it drop. The uh, we caught a bunch of fish and some nice ones. Uh, on a day when, uh, well, when it's like that, you just about got to settle for trout fishing. Anyway, there's a lot of video to watch here, so I'm going to cut this short. And uh, thanks for watching, and let's get on to the video. Few of these clips are, don't don't have any audio because my uh, mic connector kept coming loose. I've got a new one ordered. This is the only fish I caught on the waker that morning, and it was 48 degrees. At uh, this was about 9:30 in the morning.
pretty trout. A little bit skinny, but not bad. Pretty little old trout. Decent trout laying in these holes out here. Oh, I didn't miss him. Oh. Nice one. <laughs> up right here is because there was two ospreys working this area and they were catching some some uh, well one looked like a little trout another one looked like a mullet but it's the only place I've seen any bait and uh, when those birds are working you know there's bait around Saw him flash up there when he grabbed it. I don't know if you can see up there in front of me that loon. That's another reason I'm here. That's a fish catching dog right there. And if there's bait, there's fish. Nice. Quick release. Look at that, look at that, two of them. <laughs> That's crazy.
Look at him. Look at him. Look, there he is. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Good one, too. <laughs> mm. Y'all had a front row seat to that. Skinny. Not sure why these fish are so skinny. They're normally that way over here. Uh, there he is. Got him. <clears throat> Decent. Two of them fighting over it. I hope y'all could see that. There he is. <laughs> this is a good one. Uh, pretty water. Pretty fit. Decent. Got to turn the camera on after that last fish. So you miss most of the fight, but it's a good one. <laughs> that boy. Find some fat one now. See you, brother. Good one. Woo! Now that little bitty sand on. That pretty thing was laying in a sand hole. It wasn't about the size of two pipe leaves. Uh oh. Oh, what do we got here? Ooh, it's a big old trout. That's a big one. Oh. Look at that guy. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a solid one there. Fat, too. That one's been eaten. Good belly. Thanks, sir. Mm. Got him a time. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, it's a big one. Look at that thing. Oh. Oh. I probably should have netted him, but I don't like to if I don't have to. That's a good fish. 
That's pretty, pretty, pretty right there, boy. Our old bluebird day. Have a good day, buddy, and appreciate the bite. I don't know how big that one was. He hit it coming at me. Couldn't get a hook set on him. Couldn't get a hook set on him. Watch that brown pelican out there. Oh, that's another good one. That's another good one, boys. Ooh. That's your quality there, buddy. Old yellow man. 